Right, Ben, we're here to talk to you today about the fact you've signed up for Jeff Thomas's London to Paris uh, cycle ride in aid of Q Leukemia. Are you looking forward to it? I am actually, yeah. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I can't say I've ever, you know, done any anything like this before. But um, I do enjoy riding my bike, so that's a good start. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. And I, you know, the fact that it's for an incredibly good cause is um, just makes it a whole lot easier when you're doing the training. You've twice had to come back from a uh, cruciate ligament injury before. How will this ride actually help your rehab? Um, it's it's fantastic actually. Um, biking is is basically my, you know, it's my my bread and butter. I do it every day in the gym. I've you know, I say like I say, I've done done my cruciate two times before, and you know, I'm no stranger to to sitting on a bike in the gym, and you know, that's that's all good and well, but it does get a, a bit boring now and then. So, um, it's a good, um, you know, it just keeps you going. Like I say, when you when you're out on your bike, it's it's a lot of freedom. You kind of it's a de stressor as well. It's it's fantastic for that. So, um, now I'm looking forward to it. It's you know, I look. I love getting out on my bike, um, so yeah, really good. I've been cycling for probably two years now. Um, started, you know, started off on mountain bikes and stuff like that when I was a kid. But um, me and my brother kind of got carried a- away a couple couple years ago and went out and bought ourselves some proper road bikes. And the bug kind of bit, and that was it really. And you know, and you can see me out any uh, any other night in and around Stratford in the full gear, the works of the lot, um, <laughs> full lycra. Um, no, I do. I enjoy it. I love it. Like I say, it's a it's a good de stressor. It gets you out there, and it's um, you know you get to see the the lovely scene around you and just sort of, you just get carried away with doing that the most I've done is probably I think I've done a hundred K and a couple 80 K as before but you know that does take it out of you it's a tough tough old ride so um, now like I say I'm stepping the training up in the coming weeks and I'm sure I'll be fine absolutely fine uh, you must be looking forward to meeting up with uh, AD Boothroy who signed you for Watford on loan many years ago yeah that'd be uh, great actually um, you know I, I, I know AD really well to be fair and you know it'd be nice to have a, a bit of a familiar face I suppose um, like I, said, I think I, if, I, if I can go in the fast group, I, as long as I can hang on to, uh, to Jeff's saddle and he can pull me around a little bit, I'll go in the fast group, that's not a problem. What do you make of Jeff Thomas and his efforts over the past decade to raise money for uh, blood cancer sufferers? Um, absolute hero. Um, it's fantastic what he does. It's, um, it's you know, such a, a worthwhile charity, such a, you know, it's a fantastic idea, fantastic organisation. And, and like you say, it's, you know, when these people, you know, you get desperate, you, you, you're willing to try anything. And that's exactly what the, what the charity offers. And I think if, if that opportunity arises, then you've got to take it. So, you know, the, the more money we can raise for them, the, the, the better they're going to be able to at doing their jobs. You played against Stylian Petrov, uh, the season was actually diagnosed with leukaemia. Do you remember um, the, the moment when he was uh, when he was diagnosed? It really rocked football at the time. Yeah, I actually remember where I was as well. We, we had just come in from training and um, it kind of flashed up on that yellow bar on Sky Sports, kind of the breaking news. And it was, um, you know, we've got a few lads here It used to be at the Villa, you know, Boaz and, and Craig Gardner, who I think Ridgie was here as well, Liam Ridgewell, and they all they all knew him really well. And, you know, they said it's it's... it's it's horrible, you know. It shouldn't happen to guys like him because he's a he's an absolute diamond of a of a gent, you know. And it's um, but it just goes to show that you know we're we're so lucky. We we take so much for granted nowadays, and things like this come along, and it really does you know put everything into perspective. His profile brings more to the event, and hopefully more money to the cause. And um, yeah, I look forward to the challenge of riding next to a baggy. I'd like Ben to try and raise. Uh, with his circle of friends and support of the baggies, uh, £50,000. Um, for that, oh, it hurts me to say I will wear a baggy shirt for a, a day of the ride. Um, so I think it's a big challenge for everybody to raise 50 grand, but it's, it's going to be a big challenge for me to wear that shirt for a day. He will be a baggies fan for the day, guaranteed. He will be. <laughs> sorry, Jeff, mate. And I know it hurts being a Wolves fan, but sorry, lad. <laughs>